how is everyone doing? Great. Good, how are you? Good, good. I'm doing great. We have Carrie here with us. We have Dana, we have Ardis, and myself, Maya. Welcome everyone who is watching at us. Hello. And I think, please comment. I think people are already starting to watch us and I would love if you could comment that you can see us well. We're gonna give a few minutes just to chat between the team and talk to you um, before we start. This help us to make sure uh, people log in and they are watching at us. Okay, so first question, what are you guys drinking? <laughs> well, I put my coffee in an insulated mug so it would stay hot today. Oh, good, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cold coffee halfway through the live is just like that. <laughs> uh, Dana, mm -hmm. Carrie, what are you guys drinking? Definitely coffee, and um, my boyfriend made me coffee, makes me coffee in the morning, so it tastes very good. Oh, good. It's good. really nice. Dana, so you're very lucky. Good morning, Bryce. Good morning, Bryce. I've got iced tea. Ooh. Nice, Bryce. Nice. <laughs> nice. I have coffee here, cold coffee actually, because I didn't even talk about. <laughs> Bummer. Uh, I can't. Um, we are very excited that these videos have become a success. We're very, very happy. It's something we didn't have an idea, right? That how successful these were gonna become. So I'm very happy that you guys are here joining us today. So we'll, it says Bryce is drinking iced tea. Is Teresa, is Teresa with Bryce? Uh, yeah, for anyone who don't know this amazing couple, Bryce and Teresa, they are uh, big friends of ours. And they are meant to be together forever. And if Bryce is <laughs> watching, they were hoping Teresa is watching. <laughs> must be. I'm Bryce also won our contest, our giveaway last week. He got the, the oh, kettle. Exactly. We had a giveaway yes, uh, yesterday. My goodness. <laughs> last week. And we, Bryce won that. Yes. Yeah. And I know Dana has a little surprise in there for, for you guys. We're doing it again this week. But. We're doing it again this week. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. We will get into that. Uh, hey, Bonnie. We've got San Antonio. I hope you guys didn't get the bad Teresa's there. I hope you guys didn't get the bad weather that East Texas got. Oh. Sandy. Sandy. Sandy's drinking coffee. Good morning. Everyone's drinking coffee today. This is a good. We'll be <laughs> jazzed first up. Thing, right? Come ready to purchase. Um, guys, here. <laughs> I know you have yeah. Yes. Um, people are checking in. We've got another minute. Yeah, we've got another meeting. The hummingbird's adorable, Bryce says. Bryce, what did you end up doing with your hummingbird? Did you hang yeah. it somewhere? And I picture it like on the main door, right? Like, yeah, it's shining. <laughs> shining. <laughs> <laughs> no, it <laughs> missed us. Oh, missed them. oh good. That's good. Good. <laughs> Bad tornadoes last night. Oh, geez. Oh, wow. mm, the worst. For those of us who have family in the Midwest, it's always it's always a little worry about tornadoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially with spring, right? Yeah, and I've got a lot of family in Oklahoma, and they got hit bad last night. Oh. Is everyone okay? I don't know. I assume so. I haven't heard anything. <laughs> Right. No news is good news. No rain at all, but a beautiful day today. That's awesome. Bryce, yes. I want your hummingbird. Sandy, you can get a hummingbird. We still have some. Okay. Okay. So we're yeah. going to go ahead and get started. And I would like to welcome all of you, those of you who have made comments. And I know that there are other people watching us too. So welcome and thank you. And I just want to say that this week until the Saturday, the 25th, is National 
volunteer week. And with that, I want to thank all of you so Yay. much for all of your uh, love and help and, and, and volunteer work. And we have some pictures of some of our volunteers. Um, some of these pictures are from long, long ago because we have been taking insight trips for almost 20 years now. And um, we have had so much fun with all of our circle members and volunteers who have uh, helped us and worked with us. There's Sandy, there's, there's uh, Connie Ning there. So um, I think that, uh, that was a few years ago. And here we have, um, See if I mostly <laughs> familiar faces. This is probably a really old um, photo. Okay. Most most of these are Guatemalans. We only have a few uh, volunteers in those pictures. Oh, that's my very first trip. There Yay. I am on the right oh hand gosh. side with Marcia Walsh in front of me and Gail Posner and <laughs> Eddie Astle and uh, Judy. Sadler, Marsha's cousin. Oh my gosh, that's Candelaria's house uh, that got covered with uh, mudslides outside of oh, wow. um, Santiago. That Artist, was can you speak a little bit more about what an insight trip is for people who don't know? Oh, and Barbara McEldowney is there, yes. Um, insight, well, there are several different kinds of insight trips, but um, people, and it's just that. we. People go and visit our clients and visit Guatemala and get insight. They see what's going on and understand um, how Friendship Bridge works. We do now and have for the last six years had very special insight trips called circle trips. And on that trip, we just take circle members. Um, so we have two kinds, one that anybody can go on and circle members can go also. And then the special circle trip, I try to uh, keep that with circle members who do know a lot about Friendship Bridge already and they get to know each other. And that goes along with that first picture. So that, that was long ago also, but that was an insight trip, two of our members with some of our clients. And how many circles does Friendship Bridge have? Right now, Friendship Bridge has 12 circles. And so a circle 12, 12 groups of people like in different cities, right? Working to talk right. about Friendship Bridge all around the United States. Right. Well, we have circles, are, we have circles in Texas and Wisconsin and Indiana and Colorado, of course, and California and, um, We've had circles, we've had circles in Japan, we've had circles in Arizona and uh, New Mexico, North Carolina. Circles, uh, as I said, are groups of people who work together to help support Friendship Bridge. If anyone is uh, wants more information about a circle, they can certainly email Friendship Bridge. They can email me, astreeby at friendshipbridge.org. Or if you just ask anybody at Friendship Bridge, it'll get back to me. Yeah. There's my sister-in-law, Jane, and my niece, Ashley, watching from Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Hello. And there's Chicky. Chicky is on from Lancaster, California. My Aunt Linda is here. Hi, Aunt Linda. <laughs> what? My Aunt Linda is on the call. I was just saying oh. hello. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> And some of okay. these pictures are, are interesting. You can see that um, the circles are looking at Typica, the products that the women um, create, and we're going to be selling today. So you can see this has been going on for a really long time. And um, it's something incredible to speak to Friendship Bridge about the history of our volunteers working for us. And everyone's been um, so supportive. We have a really strong crew of people all around the world, really. So thank you okay. to our volunteers. Joanne Baum is on. Welcome, Joanne. Joanne has been in several circles. She started in Genesee, Colorado, and then she started her own circle in Indiana. And she's now in Florida, but hopefully coming back to Colorado. So Joanne, 
travels around and sees lots of people. Amazing. Very good. Okay. With that, I would like to introduce to you Carrie Weber, who is with us today for just, um, you will see her for a few minutes right now. Carrie is our U.S. Marketing and Communication Manager. And um, welcome, Carrie. Thank and you. When Carrie goes away, she's going to be the one making comments. <laughs> yeah. On, so on our right. uh, comment. Uh, yeah. Stream. Right. The the ladies on the screen are kind of just talking about the products and highlighting them and getting up close and speaking to the clients. And then on the back end, I'll be answering all the questions. So I just wanted to say hi to everybody and um, just say thank you for joining us and and getting interested in Friendship Bridge. If you're new to the organization and if you're a longtime supporter, thank you for coming to these and helping us spread the word. We really recommend or we would love it if you could share this video. There should be a share button on whatever channel you're watching on. <coughs> you can just share to your own personal network. It would be so amazing just because we really, um, we really want to use social media to start getting the word out about Friendship Bridge. And if you have a personal connection to the work we do, those stories are really impactful. So go ahead and share this video. Um, before we start talking about products, I just wanted to let you know that we are working really hard uh, to start fundraising um, in response to COVID-19 and everything that's happening in Guatemala right now. Um, a lot of borders are being closed and Maya can speak to this because she is in Guatemala right now. Um, there's been some discrimination happening from some of our clients and we're starting to hear stories that things are getting um, really hard. So um, to respond to that, we're using technology just like we are today. We're getting really creative and we're really working hard to think outside the box and do uh, you know like events like this that are gonna start engaging people in a different way. And we couldn't do that without technology right now. So we are starting to raise funds to help us um, pay for phone calls or phone service for all of our staff in Guatemala. We have 170 uh, staff members as part of Friendship Bridge between Guatemala and the United States. So all of those people need cell phone, they need data, they need hotspots, they need to be able to use the internet. $100 pays for... Um, two facilitators to educate clients remotely for one month. So a $100 donation would help us immensely. We're also doing telehealth services. So nurses are gonna be calling clients and checking in with them about their health. And they also need support. Um, $650 empowers one nurse to provide telehealth services to clients for just one month. And then something that we just launched is our intranet. So it's called Me Puente and we're all using this internet to stay in good communication with each other. So there's so much going on with Friendship Bridge outside of Tipica. And we just wanted mm -hmm. to um, really thank everyone for going to friendshipbridge.org slash donate. You can donate there. You can also now donate within the Handmade by Friendship Bridge website. So that's also a really great way. You can add a donate item to your, um, your overall transaction and that would really help us right now. So thank you so much for your support in, um, please consider making a, a donation on top of that. We really need your support right now more than ever. And I know you're hearing that from a lot of places. In Guatemala, the situation's a little different and um, we want to thank you for considering. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. Yeah, thank um, you. Can I tell you something? When the intranet was launched, they, wow. they, they asked if we could, the team, any of the team could propose names. So mm. I proposed Mi Puente. And you did. Yeah. Wow. Nice. <laughs> so that's the name that stuck. So I'm very happy. That was my little contribution to the internet. <laughs> that means my bridge. That's cool. That means my bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you, you so much, Carrie. Thank we you. I'll be answering in. all your questions. And Carrie's going to be in Facebook. Yes. Answering all the questions for you guys. So you know who's answering from Handmade or Friendship Bridge account. It's our beautiful Carrie. <laughs> so, Good luck, ladies. Okay, bye. 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 So while Carrie and transitions to her other site, I would like to remind you that because Maya is hosting from Guatemala, mm -hmm. uh, there are times when we lose electricity in Guatemala or something might go down. If that happens, 
or if your screen freezes for a few seconds, um, please just sit still and we will come back online. Um, if we lose electricity, what, hap what will happen is that Carrie will take over as our host. And so it could take a minute even. So don't leave us, hang on and we'll be back. Yeah. So that's just a little, a little reminder because we never know exactly what might happen in Guatemala. I know. I know. <laughs> it's never a sure thing. It's always a little surprise. I mean, I think the world is all like that too. <laughs> the world is never a sure thing nowadays, uh, but it's, it's fun. Okay. Are we ready? We're ready. So with that, Dana is going to start us off and give us some, um, some new things that we're going to see, but she's also going to talk about our new prize this week. So take it away, Dana. Yeah. Hi, good morning. So for those of you that are just joining us, welcome. Um, this is our fifth live. Um, this is a project we started in response to COVID-19, focusing on that remote technology as Carrie was talking about. Um, for those of you that are new and are like, what are these women talking about? Um, Friendship Bridge is a nonprofit social enterprise, and our mission is to empower women to build a better life. Um, and that is through microfinance, small group loans, education, and plus services such as health services. Um, we were talking about the telehealth option. Those are all things that are in addition to those group loans that are hosted through Friendship Bridge. Handmade by Friendship Bridge is our artisan program. And what it does is essentially provide advanced training for artisanal creators, most of them in the textile industry in Guatemala. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of weavers, embroiderers, sewing, lots of great products being made there. And we give them some kind of advanced direction on business skills as well as design. Um, so each week we've been going through new products that we happen to have in surplus because we were planning our big gala and then COVID-19 came to town and we were like, right, so online? <laughs> so online we came. Um, and today we have a great giveaway. So yes. we are giving away in honor of the coming summer, this lovely beach and outing bag. Um, this is canvas and this is made by Santos. So just so you guys know, the rules for winning this great little tote are hit that share button, and then I'm going to add a little twist to it today. Go ahead and pop into the comments on Facebook and type in the keyword. The keyword is share, S-H-A-R-E. Only enter it once because, frankly, there's a lot of you, and we want to make sure everyone has an opportunity to win this. And unfortunately, at the moment, this applies only to the U.S. But go ahead and hit the share button and then type it into the comments, share. And by the end of the day today, one of you lucky winners will get a message from me saying, hey, you want this bag? Tell me where to send it. So go ahead and join us in for that. And I'll remind you guys about that a little bit later. <coughs> but Great. Yes. <laughs> Can we participate? <laughs> I love that bag. All right, so today, unboxing number five, we are going to be doing sporting items. We've got a great new line of summer sporting goods and I'm so excited to bring them to light today because it's getting nice out and I'm sick of being inside. So you can go use these in the backyard. <laughs> All right, so first up, we have the Maltios Yoga Mat. So we've got a lot of great yoga bags. I don't know if anyone here has the original yoga mat carrier, the Alma. Um, but since we've introduced that, we've also introduced a bunch of great other yoga products. Um, so this is the Maltios yoga bag. And, if, is, and for your right. information, for your information, Maltios means thank you in, in Suta Hill. Maltios. Yeah. All right, so this little guy is a sweet and simple sleeve. It's got drawstring feature to make sure it tightens down nicely. 
Um, what's really charming wouldn't be that at all. Nice finishing touch there. It's in really bright corte. And it does have an adjustable strap. So it also has a front pocket with a zipper, just so you can throw in your keys or anything else as you head out to practice your yoga. And this, um, I have here just a standardized size yoga mat. It's not super plushy. I know there are some that are like pillow thick. This would probably fit um, one of the thicker ones, but it fits the standard with ease. Matiosh. Matiosh. Yeah. Matiosh. yeah. And that was created by Martina Sui and her family in Sepelachi, yeah. Catenanco. Wonderful. And it does have a sibling product. Um, this is the yoga strap. So this is a dual utility item. This not only fits onto your yoga mat, um, these are adjustable so that can tighten down to fit any yoga mat as a carrier. Uh, but for those of us that need a little extra stretching help, this can also function as a standard yoga strap for if you need that little extra bit of help with the stretch. And because it's adjustable, it fits any frame. So Good. And this, this is a brand new product. <clears throat> this was just developed in February this year. Yes, let me go ahead and hold that up. It's really beautiful corte. They're really bright, saturated colors, really strongly sewn. So this is a sturdy piece of artwork here that you happen to be able to use in your practice. And it was also created by Martina, and we have limited units of these and the Matiosh uh, sleeve as well. Yes, we have five of the sleeves and four of the straps. So if you were wanting that, but Carrie's already added the link to that, go ahead and click that and get it in your cart now because these go fast. <laughs> so next up we have our retail yoga bag. And this is made by Patrona. This is a little bit more of a classic take on a yoga bag. Um, stand up here so you can see it. This is a uh, full zipper along the top here. And they have a large wee pill panel, so you can see. Um, these were all a little different, so the wee pill panel will change. Sometimes it's solid with some flowers, sometimes it's this pattern. It kind of depends on the wee pill that Petrona has in hand to repurpose. Um, so, it being Earth Day, we do appreciate that she's repurposing textiles and making sure that uh, you know things that are a little older are reused in a loving way that gives them life so some and new this, forte repurposed textile this this was formerly the floor yoga carrier yoga mat carrier but um they were not all flowers so we changed the name so yeah. uh, people weren't disappointed with what they received. Um, so now we peels are the blouses like I have on and it can be any we peel. We can't necessarily promise. You can specify possibly if you want blue or reddish colors, um, but they aren't identical. And that is um, both one of the joys and sometimes the challenges of using variable textiles is simply, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna get in stock. So we'll always do our best when it asks you, you know, to put in a note about a product, just tell me your favorite color and I will do what I can to either get you that color or get you in that same color family. Um, maybe give me like your first option and your second option, whatever, you know, if, if there's something that you hate, <laughs> Let me know, um, but just know I'll, I'll do what I can with what I've got. So next up, we have this is the navy yoga mat carrier. Uh, so this one has a smaller panel of wheat pill. Um, but does have a lot more corte, which 
the corte is traditionally um, navy in color. And so that's why we, we call it the navy. It does have an adjustable strap. So depending on how you like to wear it, it'll fit any frame. And this also would fit, possibly, this actually fits my standard with, with ease. Um, so you could easily fit a, a larger yoga mat in here. But yeah, they, as you can see, they all fit in there. They slide in there really nicely. A lot of space. So, uh, these, are, these are great portable products. Um, is there another pocket on that we peel or is just it's larger so you can put things inside the bag with your mat? It's larger so you can put things inside or you can put a, one of the thicker mats in there. Um, okay. I know some people get the really nice plushy thick mats. So. Jealous. <laughs> All well, right. That would be nice to get one of the zipper bags to go along so you could throw your phone or your, your keys or something in a zipper bag and then put the zipper bag in that then you wouldn't lose several items that you have. Yeah, keep them together. I think that's a great idea. And I have a space for it. Zipper bags. <laughs> Never fear on the zipper bag. I have plenty of those. But as for the navy yoga mats, I've only got six. So hop in there really quick and grab that. Um, next up is the Alma yoga mat carrier. This is our first and most stalwart design. This little guy is the most versatile. Um, when you get it, it will look like this and you will be like, what, what is this? <laughs> so I'm going to show you real quick. Um, it's essentially an open, uh, kind of, it, it becomes a sleeve and it has ties. So you just tie it around your yoga mat. So this absolutely would fit any size yoga mat. Any size yoga mat. Are. So stand up with that yeah. thing. To help you carry it. And this does have a front pocket. It's an elastic or a Velcro. And so you can throw your keys in there. You can throw your credit card, your driver's license, and then just boogie. Nice and simple. Good. Matches yeah. your mat. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I know. Rory bought me this mat, and you can tell that I've loved on it because there's like little pieces missing out of it or a little flecks of paint on it. <laughs> it, it gets a lot of use. <laughs> Good. So, so, those are our awesome new yoga carriers and some of our traditional ones. Um, feel free to pop in your favorite color on those and I'll do what I can to make sure you get what you like. Next, moving into some more sporting items. I'm going to give a teaser though. Soon we will have a brand new yoga mat that is a tote with a fold over care, uh, strap to carry your yoga. But we haven't received that yet, but it's coming and it is beautiful. I can't wait to see that. That's going to be amazing. All right. So up next, I have oh, a revisit to our double duty water bottle carrier. Um, just to you know, keep in line with the sports theme. These little guys are great for hiking picnics or other outdoor activities. So I've got my water bottle here. It slides right in. So this is a 600 milliliter Camelback. So that's a little thinner guy. But uh, this is ice tea. Wine. <laughs> this is not wine on live TV. This is iced tea, I promise. Um, so I'm like, wine! <laughs> <laughs> um, these also slide right in. And you can tighten that down. And this makes a great gift. So you can um, tie this around as a bow and just as a hostess gift because I don't know about anybody else, but I plan on doing so many dinner parties after this. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. little bottle. Yeah. I do have a bunch of different colors of these and we have quite a few in stock, so don't be shy. 
about letting me know what kind you would like. All right. So receive the wine bottle, but then carry it as a water bottle holder. Yes. Take it hiking or take it to a party. There you go. Yes, it's a double duty. It is. I love that kind of utility in things. So, like things like the strap that function both as a stretchy tool and as a carrier, or a double duty water bottle carrier. Um, mm -hmm. That's my jam. I love that. Yeah. So next we are moving into tennis land. We have some pretty cool things for that. Um, if it's that pack. I know I've given you guys a, a brief glimpse of this before when we were talking about the small backpacks, but this guy is so utilitarian and functional. So I have here my trusty, dusty tennis <laughs> racket. Um, okay, fits right in there bunch of tennis balls fit right in the pocket at least they would if i didn't have a bunch of stickers all over the tennis ball well but the pocket the pocket does have a elast elastic on purpose to hold it in so it's plenty so big and the so, water bottle could go on the, is there one on the other side, Dana? There is one on the other side. So the so water, bottle, water bottle can go there. Mm -hmm. This is really handy if you plan on going out for more than just a match and need to carry some more of your items for the day. Or change of clothes. Change of clothes, yes. Um, it's definitely a thing for me because I sweat like a stuck pig. This also has three interior pockets. Um, it might uh -huh. be a little hard for you to see right here, but I've got one larger one and then two smaller ones. Oops. So two little smaller ones. So you can stay nice and organized with this, and it really honestly could fit quite a bit in there. We're really proud of this because this is our first attempt at making a backpack. Shout out to our CFO, Tracy, for inspiring the idea and helping us make it happen. So if you're wanting one of these, go ahead and hop into the store. We only have six of these left. So um, i jump on that because summer's coming. Yes, and that one, that backpack inspire also, uh, the tennis backpack inspire a backpack, like a regular one that we're hoping to bring in soon. So it's really good. I am testing that backpack. You're testing it. <laughs> Testing it means that we're imbuing it with lots and lots of love and making sure that the design is perfect before we send it on over to you. Yeah. So I purchase it. Yoga I am testing it now. <laughs> nice. Um, what so is that? that? We have a simpler version of the yoga, uh, not the yoga, the tennis carrier. Um, my brain is still on the yoga. <laughs> so this is our bracket cover. It's just a super simple sleeve. It fits two standard rackets. Um, and I should mention that with the backpack as well. These fit the standard racket heads. They don't necessarily fit the larger ones. If you are interested in the larger ones, feel free to email us at handmade at friendshipbridge.org. Um, and we can do a custom. Um, but for right now, standard is kind of the only size that we've got. So this will fit two um, stacked in here if you have two that you like to bring. Um, Carol Nielsen says it would work for pickleball too. That's yes, it would. <laughs> um, this guy does have an interior zippered pocket so you can throw your keys and, and other small items in there. Um, it does not have any kind of other pocket for the tennis balls or water bottles. So this is a bit more of a, like I'm just jotting over to the court that's at my facility sort of tool. Um, but it is very nice and utilitarian. It does come with a nice little hook to hang up. So you don't end up like me and tripping over your racket all day. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> so um, this is the only one we've got. So hop in that's there the and snag it real quick because that's going like a hot cake. 
we get more. So. Right, and we are about halfway through, so I'm going to, um, for those of you that are joining late, just go over it one more time. We do have a free giveaway today, and that is this lovely rainbow beach bag woven by Santos. So if you would like to enter into win this beach bag, what I need you to do is go ahead and hit that share button and then pop into the comments on Facebook and type in the word share, S-H-A-R-E, share, and only enter it once and make sure that you have a shipping address here in the U.S. where I can send it to. So we will let you know by the end of the day today who has won this great little tote bag. And that actually is a great segue for our next products because here we are moving away from specific sporting goods and more towards outdoor adventures. So, Carol Nelson, you said you like my props. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's amazing. If anyone, yeah. if anyone has a bit of beach for me to go to that is not currently under quarantine, I'll be there. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> So I've got some awesome beach bags. First up is the one called the Lago Beach Bag. For those of you that have limited Spanish, such as I, Lago means lake. So this is from the shores of Lake Atitlan. And this is a lovely beach bag. It's got, um, let's get closer so you can see it, magnets for the exterior pockets as well as for the central pocket so that it stays shut. Inside, it has a zippered pocket so that you can keep all of your items organized for a smaller pocket. And then for that, um, there's a larger interior pocket also with a magnet clasp. So super great way to stay organized. So I can see myself doing sunscreen here, sunglasses there, beach towel in the middle, or maybe a yoga mat, depending. And then off you go. And this is the only one we have right now. We will be ordering more, but if you want this bag, this is it. Go to um, handmadebyfriendshipbridge.org and put your order in. Lago Beach Bag. Yes, L-A-G-O Beach Bag. All right, and then for those of you that really, really want that woven tote, but maybe you know you don't win it today, not a big deal. We have Santos has made really lovely totes. These are the Jardin tote. So Jardin meaning garden. We started with this beautiful emerald green tote. And this is all woven haspe or ecat, which is um, essentially computer programming. It's binary, green, white, green, white. Um, in certain patterns that allow you to get these beautiful details into the weave. So we have that in a lovely green or a really bright blue. And what I love about these, oh, there's Santos. So that's a picture of Santos as she is showing off her blue, blue color. The, the blue is actually new to us. We've had the Jardine for a bit now. Jardine. Um, the Jardine. Sorry, I'm limited, limited Spanish here. <laughs> I'm gonna work on it during quarantine. Actually, I'm doing okay. Who else is doing Duolingo through quarantine? Let me know. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the berry blue color. We also have the green color. The blue is new. The green is a bit more traditional. Uh -huh. What I love about these is they have this fun, funky freedom strap here but then it's really well gathered at the top so that it doesn't slip off your shoulder. Yeah, this is a traditional Guatemalan or Central American bag. Um, Maya, do you remember the name for these bags? The, um, uh, yes, if, I if am Carolina trying to say. On, we're on. If no, Carolina, I don't think she's on. Uh, they have they have a special name. Um, I I used to call them the string bags because they the uh, strap had the strings, but they do have 
they are a very, very old traditional Central American uh, shopping bag, actually. Yes, I'm trying to. Seems like it starts with an M. Does anybody know online? Uh, yeah, yeah, please help me because that was a good one, artist. <laughs> it's Thursday, and my brain is just like, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm trying to say other words, but it's not. That's my no, 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 no. Okay, let me, let me think while we Maybe advertise this later. If I remember this, I will celebrate with you. Maybe I'll text Carolina and find out. Okay, uh, we have some comments too in here. People are sharing. We have in here uh, Constance, um, Constancia, who <laughs> says it is our Ventura just opened. Uh, Paula says the Alma Yoga mat carrier can also be used to carry beach towels to pool or a beach. That's true. Okay. That, that's actually how I use um, those because uh, I don't do yoga. <laughs> And then we have Carol, okay. Carol uh, who you read the comment. We have John, who said great ideas. We also had Carol, who uh, said that she loves your props, which I'm loving them too, Dana. And we have John. Will you have any funny packs? Any we, packs. Are hope, we are hoping to pro bring them. Uh, not for this month. We didn't order funny okay. packs, but hopefully for the summer we will. Um, we we're working on a design for those, weren't we? Yes, yes. America commented. She said, congratulations. Thank you, America. Does um, America know the name of that bag? America's on vacation. So is she commenting? <laughs> yes, yeah, she's commenting, but she's on her vacation. But I am going to check on that, uh, but with her. And I'm asking Caroline. Okay, Bryce, <laughs> it says, hello, America. And then people are sharing, sharing. Um, Paula has shared it. Bonnie has shared it. Um, Bonnie Pope has shared it. Susie says, hey, ladies. Hi, Susie. Um, Bryce shared it. Susan shared it. And Sandy shared it. Joanne shared it. So we have many people who have been sharing the this video. Please share it so you can participate to win that lovely bag that Dana has been showing us. Mm -hmm. OK. So, um, good segue on the fanny packs. While that is in production, but not currently available, um, they're not necessarily good for jogging, but they are quite nice. We do have some smaller purses that we are rolling out. So I just remember the word. What's the Moral. word? Moral. That's it. I knew it started with <laughs> I'm like, I just, I just remember it. Well done. <laughs> Yeah, that's the word for the bag that she wanted to know. Okay, go for it. Take so it away from us. Purses for small day trips. Um, I know that I oscillate between like, I will carry no purse at all, and I will carry a giant thing that's like equivalent to an adult diaper bag because it's not a good purse if you can't fit a pizza and a bottle of wine in it, apparently. Um, <laughs> that is incorrect. You can make do with a smaller purse, and life is lovely with a smaller purse. So we have here some lovely little day packs. Um, this is called the Rosas shoulder bag, and it is essentially a beautiful woven corte, um, so a larger kind of uh, basket weave here, and a little weave little accent along the bottom. It does have a main zipper pocket, and inside it has one, there it is, interior zipper pocket. So that's a great spot for keys, chapstick, smaller items. Whereas in here, all you need to do is throw in your phone, throw in your wallet and get. So these are really nice if you're not needing one of those giant purses that, you know, are probably not so good for your posture. So something lighter, something simpler, just to make life easy. We've got a couple different corte patterns of this. I only have three of these in stock. We will get more, but if you're really enamored with this, I'd suggest hopping on and getting it into your cart early. Because while we are looking at the end of this crazy COVID thing, shipping is still a problem and it is still Guatemala is still on lockdown. So refilling our inventory might take a little while. So yes. 
And in addition to that, if you want a similar small purse, um, but with a little more refill, we have here the cross body bag. So this is um, a lovely top flap panel of refill. And we have all kinds of different refill, but I am particularly enamored with this floral one. And a magnet clasp over the top. Interior zipper pocket, or exterior zipper pocket technically, under the flap. And on the inside, it's very simple. It's just one open pocket. So yes. keys, wallet, keeping it easy. This is, both of these have adjustable straps. So we call it the crossbody because it can actually go quite long. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, when I was in high school, I had a purse very similar to this from American Red Cross. Um, same structure and even the same kind of equipment. That thing lasted years. Um, and that was, you know, mass produced in China. These are hand stitched and critiqued by Maya and America in Guatemala. So I wouldn't be surprised if this little guy would just last forever. <laughs> We're hoping he will. They're beautiful and they're really classy. So I think I've got nine of these in stock. Pop into handmadebyfriendshipbridge.org. Throw this in your cart. Let me know what your favorite color is and we will do what we can to get you one that you like. Yes. And as you can see, that can stretch really far if I could get it on over this sun hat. <laughs> Yes. And they are very unique, as you said, and we have different textiles. And you can place the order in there. We only have nine, and these are the ones that sell out the most. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. Joanne is asking, do the yoga bags have heavy-duty zippers? Mine broke from a bag I brought from a client near Chi Chi on an insight trip two years ago. So two years ago, we did not have our grant from YKK zippers. Mm -hmm. uh, YKK is an international zipper company that granted us or partnered with us, Maya? Mm -hmm. Well, no, we are, well, yeah, but would they partner with us and we're, they are the ones that are providing zipper for us. And then from, uh, we buy them in bulk to support the artisans. The problem we had was that no artisan had the capacity to purchase in huge bulk amounts that YKK was asking for. So we decided to do the purchase and the artisans will get little parts of what they are in need to create their products. So we have stepped up with um, the quality of the zippers that uh, they they are using. Mm -hmm. Nice, awesome. Yeah. So yes, uh, zipper quality going on up. Let me see here. Yeah, these zippers are I'm looking at the navy right now, and that's a YKK zipper. It's nice and um, it's nice and solid. And it's a fairly big zipper. I'll get a little closer, so you can see the stitch quality on that. Yeah. So I would think that this guy would hold up really well. Um, and of course, Hasinta is an amazing textile artisan. Her stitches are super clean. This seems really sturdy to me. And I play really hard, hard, I play hard on all of my tools and toys. So I'm a little bit of a disaster when it comes to that. So yes, I need heavy duty zippers as well. Yes, and a lot of people commented about that since a year ago and that's something we have been trying to, to make sure the quality of these bags are at 100% because the work of the art sense is beautiful, but sometimes it was ruined with using a super bad zipper. And it's understandable. That's what they find in their towns. And yeah. it, sometimes it's hard for them to take the leap into buying and seeing themselves so professional, <laughs> right? That they need to buy in bulk. So we're supporting them with that. Right, and it, it's been always trouble with the zippers. Mm -hmm. uh, I just remember the first time First time we went that you always had to test every zipper on every bag. Yeah. Um, so we understand that zippers are important and on these big bags, that's why we've gone to the YKK. Yes. Uh, Joanne says, thank you for addressing that issue of zippers. Yeah. And Bryce says, Dana, keep the hat, looks great. <laughs> Bunny says, 
your weed peel. It's beautiful. Ooh. Nice. Let me let me put a towel on you. There you go. <laughs> That is gorgeous. That's great. Here's my husband. Oh, there's your husband? Okay. Your husband. Oh, yeah. His shirt is beautiful, too. <laughs> Say hi, Jane. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we're at home. Right? Yeah. Zebras. I mean, at least you guys can't hear, like, the cat screaming in the other room. So. I just heard him trolling me with the zebras word. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't know the first video, I confess that the team, not makes one know, but like how I pronounce certain words, the including zippers, <laughs> uh, it makes them laugh. But anyway, we all, we all call them zippers now. Yeah, yeah. So that's a, a joke. Yeah. Now we have shared with the whole world on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have um, moving from sort of those outdoor gear to more hopefully travel soon. Um, mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Stay hopefully. safe, everybody. Crossed. Remember, even if your area's quarantine is lifting, you are still safer at a distance. So, but that said, we might be able to move around again soon. So, a couple of fun things. Here is this is from America. Or not America, sorry. Erica. <laughs> yes. Erica and Micaela make these beautiful leather key fobs. So you can throw your keys on that and you'll be able to find them in the bottom of any bag. Um, this is a black leather with corte. No, uh -huh. it's with e um, So we have a few of these in stock. We've only got about four of them in stock. So go ahead and order yours quickly because, um, like I said, even though we're ramping down here in the U.S., it is still hard to get product from Guatemala, although we are still working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those could also be put on your zipper poles. That's correct. <laughs> on yeah. your yoga bag. We also have a few sweet ornaments here. Um, I know that these are really popular and sold out pretty quickly, so we, we got a few more in stock. I'm happy to say our we peel heart ornaments. So these would be really great if you want to send just a tiny little love message to your mama for Mother's Day. I can mail it for you and let me know if you want me to include a note. And I certainly can. Um, so and so says hi. <laughs> and after I, we have um, not mentioned it yet, but Mother's Day is two weeks away. You could buy yourself a gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Or you can uh, hint uh, the husbands, the husband of the chi or the children <laughs> that you want your present to be purchased in this specific website, online store at Handmade by Friendship Rich. That that could be an option too. That's a good option. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have three different patterns in on our store for these. Um, can they choose the color? Sorry, what's that? Can they choose a color? They can choose the pattern that they want, um, and then the pattern is kind of, the colors are based off of that. Okay. So we've got three different patterns. Um, there's like a tiny purple and green, there's a larger woven purple and green, and then there's a blue and red. So all of these are on a red base, and these are all made by Erica So. Uh-huh. So these are great little pillow ornaments. Um, I must confess, I have one. I have it hanging up over here, actually, and it's got a bunch of pins in it because I don't have a, um, a push pin holder. So that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's a good idea. Yes. Occasionally in the afternoon, it becomes stress relief. Just a <laughs> but that's quarantine, baby. That's quarantine. Yeah. Um, so after that, um, we are looking at a couple of unique tools for travel and organization. If we're not able to travel, I'm sure everyone is, you know, simplifying life and Marie condoing their house at the moment. So this is a great tool for that. This is our Akatenango organizer. Did I yes. say that right? Yes. Akatenango. 
And we've mm -hmm. we just sold one, so that means we only have one left. Oh, oh we did? Oh, yes. wow. To Jane, my wow. sister. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. You guys are in a race against Arts and Sister. <laughs> yeah, you guys are really on <laughs> a race. So this is, um, it's beautiful. We fill on the front, and they're, they're all green, um, with a tassel for the zipper pull. And it is lined with clear vinyl. So you can actually lay out everything in here that you want to keep organized and just have this little sleeve help you keep everything nice and clean and organized and easy to see really quickly. Um, so I know with Earth Day, a lot of people are selling these kinds of things. This is the only one I've seen that has beautiful retail on it. So get organized, keep it clean, and benefit an artisan in the process. These are made by Hesinta. And a follow-up. Dana, I just thought of this. If we ever start going back to concerts or um, basketball games or whatever, this could be your purse. Oh. Because that way, because if you carry something plastic and they can see through it, they don't have to open it up. Yeah. There you go. Nice and easy. It could be. It could be used that way. That is a great idea. Get through security a little quicker. Right. Awesome. Um, and then this one is one of my personal favorites. This is the toiletry bag. I always forget the title of it because I think of it as my carry-on bag. We actually do have a different bag that's specifically for carry-on. This guy actually opens all the way up and you can hang it on those hangers in the hotel. And it allows you the ability to see all of your goodies. There's a tiny pocket here with a zipper. Uh -huh. There's two larger pockets here that are just open. And then this whole compartment is a giant pop-out pocket. So you can throw all of your toiletries for travel right in here. I actually use one of these for all of my makeup um, so that I don't have to have my makeup all over my shared bathroom. My husband doesn't have to deal with it. So all of my um, little brushes go up here, all of my powders go there, and then this is actually where I keep my specific lotions, shampoos, things for that for travel. Um, so these are actually, I, I adore these, and they have different weebill patterns, both in the front and the back. So extra weebill and extra utility. And it does have a little handle. <laughs> so grab it. Dark so things are disappearing. So if it says out of stock, that means it's already sold. Yes. And thank you. Thank you so much Sorry. for your support. Dana, we I will. agree with you. That's one of my favorite bags, too. Is it a right. heavy bag? Sorry? Is it a heavy bag? It's not. It's not heavy at all. Um, mine is a little heavier downstairs just because I've got it absolutely full. Um, but it's still... This little guy is light. Um, that's, that's the weight of what I put in it, not necessarily the weight of the bag. Who's so. our artisan on that one? These are made by Jacinta. This okay. is the Jacinta show today. Okay. Jacinta, Jacinta is perfect. Mm. She just is yeah. getting better and better in everything that she does. I adore these. Oh, YKK. <laughs> YKK zipper. Awesome. Good. All right, and then this is our last piece for today, but we wanted to make sure that we threw it in there because guys need stuff too. Um, this is our men's travel kit. So this is super simple. It's got little hooks so you can hang it up wherever you need it. Um, sweet little corte, and all of these have a different strip of Rhonda on them. Um, Rhonda is their, not the hem, it's kind of the decoration that they put on the seams. It's the, where they unify the two pieces of textile. That's right. the embroidery that they do to uh, put them together. I absolutely adore that they um, use that liminal space, that space in between as an opportunity to decorate mm -hmm. and um, kind of bring emphasis to it. That kind of speaks to a travel bag because when you're traveling, you're being liminal. You're going in between things. So why not enjoy it and decorate it? Give it the, the acknowledgement it's due. And these are completely vinyl lined. So 
So you can throw your shaving kit in there and it's not going to, you know, spill all over everything. Um, there is one interior zipper pocket. So if you've got, you know, your little contacts case, you can go ahead and pop them in there. Those smaller things that you want to be able to reach for pretty quickly, keep it nice and organized. And these actually have quite a bit of space in them. As you can see, it's um, quite They're expandable. Big. They're big. Yeah. You could throw a lot in there. Um, so you can throw this in your carry-on. You can have this just on your counter. Um, use it just to organize under the sink. I know that I've got all of our cosmetics under the sink. So as we are getting ready to leave our homes safely, we can also still be organized and be ready for that. So we have, I think- Well, and we do, we do have Father's Day coming up in June. So. That is true. So you can hop in there and grab one of these for Father's Day. Um, and not all of the Rondas, I know this one in particular is a bit floral. Not all of them are like that. So just let me know what you would like and when you go ahead and purchase that. We have four of these in stock right now. Um, and it pulls down mm -hmm. to be pretty tiny. So um, easy to carry around. So hop in there into the store and grab one of those. Um, and hopefully we'll be nice and organized and ready to go play as soon as the opportunity arises. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> And oh, cool. Thank you, Dana. Those were great products. We finished before Wait. 11 o'clock, which yeah. we always say we're going to do, but we usually find something to ramble about for 10 or 15 <laughs> minutes. So, yes, so Maya has a few more comments yes. about masks. Yes, I do. And also, before we leave, we wanted to share with you that we're going to continue these live videos. So we are very, very excited. We first announced that it was only going to be five live videos, but we decided to continue because um, we're getting used to it. This gives us structure for a week. <laughs> we're loving them. And we are very excited to keep on sharing with you all. And um, but we're gonna have a brainstorm meeting soon and see what uh, are we going to be talking to you about. If you have ideas, please share them with us. And um, we are very, very, very excited to continue doing this uh, for as long as it takes. So we're very happy. I need to update you all about the face mask. And I'm really grateful to all of you for your support with it. We sold out of the fitted masks and we are very excited about that. Um, I have never seen uh, this product selling out in less than 24 hours. So I'm extremely happy with that. And we have a second shipment that's arriving to the States. But um, my, tell them how many we had. We had uh, 509 and we are from, for the fitted mask, we sold out. And we have just the last ones for the rectangular uh, masks. We uh, have a filter pocket. I'm gonna show you this photo. I think I, sh I shared with you guys this photo on last week. Um, but we're very grateful and we have a second and we have a second um, shipment arriving. And we, we need your support with sharing or posts online. We have provided uh, work for several artisans. They have all been paid, which is really important for us. Um, so now we need to sell and move the units. And we're very excited to have the second opportunity and continue helping for the beautiful women we serve. Um, and thank you. I'm really, really grateful for that. We will have, the fitted masks have been great a hit and we have more units of those coming and we also have the rectangular masks which the filter pocket and please don't forget if you already purchased we are grateful but don't forget to wash them when you receive them we're going to be emailing you all who purchase masks to remind you that you need to wash them before using them and send us photos See, once you're ready send us photos we need that uh to market the products and attract new consumers who are in need of face masks. And it's such a lovely project because we're finally um, unifying the people who are in need of face masks with uh, who, are the, who are in need of that demand and with our artisans who can provide those face masks. So it's really beautiful. 
Yeah. Bryce says, keep them coming, keep them coming. I agree. Um, so yes. just, just another little thing that I know is kind of a activity going on with the face masks. So the fitted ones, um, when we send those out to you, they are coming in packs of four. There will be slight variations between the four of them simply uh -huh. because different face shapes and different um, sizes. So you can find the ones that fit you the best. And then, um, you know, as you wear them, make sure that you have a clean one available. So if you ever take it off, you can put on a clean one, um, only touching clean to clean. Take and off. making sure take that you take it off. <laughs> right. I mean, you can swap them out if you if you go out and end up needing to take it off, then make sure you put on a clean one so that you're not cross contaminating. Um, mm -hmm. But yes, make sure you wash them before you get excited to put them on, just because they have been washed before and we keep contact with them to a minimum. Um, mm -hmm. But just be safe. It's worth it just to be safe right now. Yes, exactly. Um, okay, so we are going to uh, leave the session today. Thank you, everyone. Okay, Constancia wants an update on conditions in Guatemala. Okay, uh, let me <laughs> update you really quick. The situation, the coronavirus uh, cases have increased. We're still in a lockdown. We are, um, the government right now is providing some food packets to Guatemalans. The, um, the rules that the official lockdown was up to 4 p.m. Now it's up to 6 p.m. And the, we are still, Friendship Bridge is still working from uh, remotely. We're all still working remotely. And then we have, um, we have, uh, we still have expand. We expanded the payment for clients uh, up to in May. They don't have to pay. April they didn't have to pay. May they have. Of we have offered that for May as well. So clients who are in need don't have that pressure to have their payment if they're like they. We are not. We don't want them to not eat because they have to pay. So that's what French Bridge has been great with that to postpone their payment until June on their micro credit. Uh, with the ArtSAM program, all of our clients are um, eager to receive orders. They have, we have been in communication with them. The sewing artisans, it's beautiful to see that they have received these orders for the face masks. And we were talking as a team that it's so wonderful and never expected that they could be working very hard during this um, pandemic, but I'm very happy we have that. Now our next, our next worry is to provide employment for the artisans who are doing beads, who are doing sewing, and how can we support them during this? Um, so we that's a very quick update, um, but I know Carrie is also um, emailing people on um, from French Bridge standpoint and what and then updates for for the donations and what do we need. Yes. If you are interested in getting more of those organizational updates, um, you can pop over to friendshipbridge.org and sign up for our newsletter. If you're interested in keeping up with what we're doing here at Handmade by Friendship Bridge, specifically the artisan program, um, you can also pop on to handmade by friendshipbridge.org and you can sign up for the artisan program newsletter as well sign up for both you'll get our saturday news blast from the artisan program and you'll get blasts from carrie letting you know what we are doing as far as the organization so like we said we are restructuring loans so clients don't have that pressure to pay mm -hmm. right now we offered that in april um in march we had 91 percent payment rate which is mm -hmm amazing so um we want to make sure that it's available for them in april it's available for them in may if they need it and um so far our clients are are stalwart i mean they're resilient man they're sticking with us they're really proud to be able to work at yeah. their home, but they also understand that right now they need to be safe and take care of themselves so um so Damon, has, yes joanne i will help you, you out mention the here for her match Yes, we also have a $30,000 match going on right now through May 8th. 
Um, so if we can raise $30,000, we have donors that are willing to match us that amount. Um, and you can make that donation via friendshipbridge.org or um, hopefully through this new addition of donations to Tipica orders. Um, but right now it would really help us out because this uh, fundraising is going specifically to providing remote technologies. That's things like telehealth with our nurses, making sure that we can maintain that phone tree between our facilitators and our trust bank leaders, um, making sure that we have training for our intranet so that while we're in this odd downtime, we are able to train up our teammates in Guatemala for use of intranet and be even more interconnected and more um, efficient with our communications than ever before. So hop over to friendshipbridge.org slash donate. And even if it's just $5, if it's $100, $100 provides two loan facilitators all of their um, remote technology support. The month. So feel free to hop in there and help us out. We are doubling your impact today. So yes and we are very very grateful for all your support if you have already donated we are extremely grateful i know we are a huge team there friendship bridge has a huge team and we're the ones who are here talking to you but we're very grateful on behalf of everyone at friendship bridge and if you have done so and you want to continue supporting us you can share these um what we post at Handmade by Friendship Bridge, and you can also share what we post at Friendship Bridge. We have two different accounts, so we are, because we're talking about two different things, right? But please share them, that's what we need. We need to expand the word, and we appreciate that support as well. Okay, and we're going to get back with Joan, with Joe Baum, yep. on yep. her order. So Joe, hang on if you're still having trouble, or you can send me an email also and we'll get back with you thank you elizabeth and constance thank you for all your energy and time and bunny says so glad you're continuing the live unboxing sessions yes thank you happy to okay we love hearing from you yeah and if you have ideas of things that you want to see then go ahead and drop us a direct message mm -hmm. or post it on our wall um we are more than excited to take suggestions as well because um, we want to we want to make sure this is something that's valuable to all of you. So, hope you have a great week. Stay safe. See you yes, next week. Then. See you next week. Bye. New items. We've got new items coming in the boxes. Yes, we do. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.